Oh, hello everybody. It's a wonderful Friday of getting ready to list our typewriters tomorrow morning. Every Saturday morning, we upload new typewriter listings or new uh, listings of vintage typewriters, which is probably more proper. You can see them at our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com. Please shop there. We do have an Etsy shop as well. Um, but the website, you actually save a little bit of money because we're not required to collect tax because we're not big enough. But through Etsy, Etsy's huge. They have to collect tax. So if you want to save um, some money, visit our website. Plus, we like that anyway. We also have covers and... Um, what are these called? Typewriter pads and ribbons. So most of you who watch our videos are not our clients or customers, but we would, in order to keep these videos coming, we'd really appreciate it if you would shop our website and the links are all down below. Also, will you give me a thumbs up, please? And thank you, awesome. And let me know what kind of videos you wanna see. Um, I have recorded some, I just haven't uploaded them, which I need to, along other things. Okay. Voila, SM4, beautiful. Olympias are fantastic machines. Isn't she lovely? She looks in great condition. We actually found her here locally and we're so excited that she cleaned up because we, we got her and she wasn't very pretty. But boy, did she clean up and this is the original finish on hair. All right, let's take a look at what she's got. All right, so this has, oh, I wonder if this is an SM3. This might be an SM3 because the tabs are on the back. So my mistake, I will put in the description, I'm just gonna double check because I know it has to do, between the SM3 and the SM4 has to do with the tabs. And I'm thinking SM3, the tabs are in the back and the SM4, the tab settings are in the front. I can't remember, so I'm gonna double check that. So tabs are back there, margins you have to squeeze. You don't press down, you squeeze and you move. Very nice and smooth. Also the paper holder is right here. It's like a little pin. You just press on that, Whoa! I think that's so much fun, I love doing that. All right, your paper release is the tall lever. You pull that forward and that releases the tension on your paper. Now, most typewriters have a lever behind here for the carriage release. On the Olympia, it's the button you press down and moves. Also, the Olympias all have a carriage lock, which comes in handy. When you're not using it, you really should lock your carriage. And that's going to be over here on the left side on the keyboard next to the plus minus sign. And um, just lift that up and kind of jiggle. There you go, now it's locked. And if you push it down, you're not gonna be able to move it. That just, it protects your draw band. And um, when you're not using it, it's that way it's not gonna get jostled around or anything like that. But if you purchase an Olympia, make sure you unlock the carriage first by pressing down and there you go. Let's move this guy to the left, pop open the top. Inside, you'll see we put a brand new universal ribbon in it. When it is time to change the ribbon, you just kind of fold back these spring-loaded bars like that. Pull out your ribbon. Um, you just pull it up, very simple, and change it out. When you do, and you just slide a new one in there, make sure then you thread it through these guide wires. Up close image of this is on the website. Just click the product listing link and bookmark that image for you. Now, you do need to manually reverse the ribbon on this typewriter and you do that right here. Either side actually, that looks like a double barrel and you just pop that. And you can do it all on this side, whatever, whatever you like, okay? Um, because when you get to the end of the spool, it's not the end of the ink. And so if you're typing and all of a sudden your keys kind of get stiff or they stop or the font is really faint, that means you've, you're at the end of your spool and you just need to reverse the direction, all right? Okay, and then this, this just determines how hard these type bars are gonna strike your paper, that's all that is. 
put that down. Color selector, your tab. You saw where we set the, set the tabs in the back. Backspace, margin release. And what that is, is when you get to the end of your margins, that bell's gonna ding. It's gonna stop, it's not gonna move any further, but maybe you're in the middle of a word, then you hit that margin release, and then you can keep going. All right, let's put out a piece of paper and do some typing. Like this, like this, like this. All right, bring it up. Make sure it's even, it's perfectly even, what do you know? So, but if it wasn't, again, you can use this lever to release the tension and then adjust your paper. Let's do some typing. No number one, use your lowercase l, 1958. Oh, this is nice, y'all. Olympia SM for maybe SM3. Mm, mm -mm. Looks like there's some bleed. Could be two reasons. Every typewriter has a different feel. I was hitting the keys pretty hard, so it could be I'm hitting those keys way too hard. So I'm gonna back off a little bit and let's go ahead and test out. Whoops. Tab. Looks like I was hitting the keys too hard. So this likes a lighter touch. Which is good, that just means it's easier to type on. Oh yeah, look how nice that is. I take a photo of this, um, of this sheet and put it up on the listing so you can see how that font is. That font is really nice. Oh, <laughs> I get to talk and I'm not paying attention. I didn't do the caps on the uh, Q line or the A line. So let's go back and do the caps. There you go. Gosh, this feels, one thing I love about Olympias is that the, the carriage, it feels like it's butter that's like, just it's so smooth, it's really nice. Okay, two keys at once doesn't help. <laughs> Again, two keys at once. <laughs> nice belt. I'm gonna keep going just so we can show you the margin release. Okay, so it stopped on me, margin release. All right, and then this is your backspace. Remember, backspace doesn't erase, it just backspaces. So if you make a mistake, you just type over and keep going. Or if you really made a mistake, you just X through it all and retype. Oops, margin release, where is that? Okay, so that's how it works. Fantastic typewriter in fantastic condition. Um, and it typed very easily. Um, I had butter fingers today. I was kind of typing all over myself, but it was actually really smooth and I could get into, uh, I could tell it was going to be easy to get into a groove. So this is going to be really nice for those of you who are active writers and you're looking for a really quality machine that's going to put out a beautiful font and this is it for you. All right, sure appreciate you watching. Give us a thumbs up, visit our website, and you all have a great day.